Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 26th day of August, 2021, I'd like to welcome you to join me over here to Jam Bullion so we can look at the live spot prices. Gold's down $4.14 to $17.91.26. Silver's down 11 cents to $23.78. Platinum down $5.94 to $1,566. Pick up sticks. Palladium down $26.29 to 24.32.25. Now over here to the United States Mint, and they've added some information to their product schedule just yesterday. And that one item we're going to be looking at here today is the September 28th release of the uncirculated coin set, Product 21RJ. Now it is from the Denver and Philadelphia Mint, and they are beauties. So there's going to be two folders with seven coins each. The Philadelphia, that's the blue one, and the Denver, that's the red one, and that's consistent throughout the um, I'll tell you, these are going to be amazing. And uh, I'll go to the blue one. It's a little easier on the eyes. Now, if you look over here on the right-hand side, you'll see the five coins that are standard circulation coins. We have the dime, the 50-cent piece. And I do believe the 50-cent piece cannot be considered, well, I mean, not intended for circulation. Maybe, you know, they should change that vernacular. Um, and the Sacagawea dollar, the Lincoln cent, and the Jefferson nickel. Now, on either side of the Jefferson Nickel, you'll notice the Tuskegee Airmen Quarter and Washington Crossing the Delaware Quarter. Now, these two quarters are going to be the reason to buy this set. Now, if you want to narrow that scope a little bit further down, if you didn't get a chance to buy some of the rolls and bags or the three coin set for the Tuskegee Airmen, this might be your opportunity to pick up that high grade specimen. Now, as far as the Washington Crossing the Delaware Quarter is concerned, we know that that one was only issued in circulation this year. And this will be the first opportunity to pick this up in a circulation mint state because we know they did a proof and we know they did a silver proof. Now, this is the mint state one circulation quality that I'm talking about, mint state. Now, this is the only one that you're going to find in a high grade, and it's going to be much the same as the V75 or even the, rather, the W quarters, and here's why. So if you think about the W quarters, they were all found in the wild, even if they were never really in circulation and they just were, you know, they were rolled up, you picked them up at a bank and you pulled them out, you know, they still were jingling around in there and they got marks and so... If you look at some of the grading here, I'm going to show you. Um, this is the tall grass prairie. 3,880 specimens were submitted. One is in a mint state 68. The majority of them are in a mint state 65. So that's your circulating quality right there. Now, here is the Tuskegee Airmen 1, 2, and 3, the P, the D, and the S. Check this out. The S, normally it, it's, I guess, um, known for producing a better quality coin. However, look at this. There's only two in a mint state 69. Incredible, isn't it? Out of 210 submitted. So that's 1%. That's incredible. Now look at this. This is even more incredible, I would think. Now this is the Tuskegee Airmen P. And I think all of these examples were um, taken from this particular set here. And we all know what that's going for now. Now over here, looks like 23 are a mint state 69. And the highest total is a mint state 67. Now, they had 196, so that's about 12.5%, 12.5% of the coins that are going to grade in a mint state 69. Um, like I said, folks, this is um, probably your best opportunity to pick up that Washington crossing the Delaware quarter in a higher than a mint state 65 grade. Now, I have a theory about these particular items when they do come out is that you'll want to get them early on because of the freshness of the dyes. In fact, the theory is that the fresher the dye, the cleaner the coin. In fact, a fresh dye might pr uh, produce an MSPL coin. So it's a mint state proof-like coin. And I've seen that before. And it is, um, it's like a, a grade and a half, I guess, would be a proof-like. But they are there, and you can get them. And it is something that people... Uh, go out of their way to pay a little extra for. So there's that. Now, let me go ahead and read some of the details here. I know I've been jibber-jabbering for so long. Uh, it says here, the final quarter in the America the Beautiful Quarter series, honoring the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site in Alabama. We know that's a major big deal coin. Uh, we've talked about that all year long. And then there's the George Washington Crossing, the Delaware Quarter, featuring the obverse design that marks a return of the familiar depiction of the George Washington by John Flanagan as it appeared on the quarter from 1932 to 1998. 
um, it's a larger, 10% larger to 15% larger um, portrait bust. Now there's a Native American coin, and then they show the Kennedy half dollar, the Roosevelt dime, the Jefferson nickel, and the Lincoln penny. So um, that's interesting. Very interesting that they mentioned these are like an afterthought. And then there's these. <laughs> so there's the specs on these. They're all clad, constitutional copper, correct? And um, I'll tell you, one of the things I really wanted to show you here. Um, now, you can enroll in this. And if you do enroll in this, you'll get them uh, sent out to you that first day before they do go on sale. So you may get a chance to get some of those finer grades and the earlier issues of these particular coins. And there's the enrollment, and I'll leave the link in the description. Now, here's the uncirculated coin set from 2020. And this particular information was not mentioned. It says the United States Mint uncirculated coins are struck on a special presses using greater force than circulating coins, producing a sharp, intricately detailed image. Now, it doesn't say that on any of these uh, particular descriptions. So I was kind of worried about that, but I don't think I should be, honestly, because... Um, if they did change it, I would think that uh, it would be it would be mentioned. And um, let's face it, they didn't mention it, so I'm not going to assume it, right? <laughs> but look at that. Um, that's the one from 2020, and they did only make uh, 13,000 or less. And that is the least minted and least sold one in U.S. Mint history. Uh, well, one of the lowest, I think, top. Bottom three. I should do another video on that and, and to check the progress on that because that's really interesting. I think that thing's going for at least double right now. Anyway, um, I showed you the uh, mintages, uh, the census reports on these graded coins. And like I said, you know, about 12% of those coins are going to grade in the mint state 69. And you can do the math on the rest of them. And it is just a game of percentages. It really is. And um, I think the one that really is going to stand out this year is that Washington crossing the Delaware because there really isn't any high grade examples of it just yet until this new circulating set comes out. And look at what some of these people uh, want for this. Now, I want to show you, this is like the follow-up, the plus one here. Now, this is the 2020 W, that's the West Point Mint, uh, V75 Privy Mark, Tallgrass Prairie Preserve. Look at this, one in a 68, 183 and a 67, 848 and a 66 pickup sticks. Um, wow, right? So the majority of those are 65 and there's not that many totally listed. 3,880 for that one. Look at this, 2,834. It's like people just forgot about the V75s and the W quarters. Because, I mean, look at this earlier on, 9,000. I mean, that's three times what the other ones were. I mean, that's just incredible. Look at this, 2,000. Uh, so, honestly, I think that these examples are very rare, comparatively speaking. I mean, look at that. This one's got 6,000 examples. This one's got 9,000, 9,000. It's like it just fell off a cliff. It's really interesting. 8,000. And then who knows how many PCGS did in theirs. So I didn't even do that. But that could be a really interesting follow-up video. So, folks, um, it's always good to check out the census reports on some of these coins. That way you know how many of the particular ones are in each grade and how many total have been graded. So there it is, folks. Um, that's the video today. But I want to do um, a little something, uh, a little kind of a, an idea of, uh, now we're doing the gathering tribe, right? And that's super important. And I think, I guess what I want to do is define it a little bit better. And that when we're doing this gathering tribe, I guess we're just kind of building a community that can lean on each other in times of need and in times of plenty and, you know, in good times and in bad, so to speak. Right. Um, and, and, uh, I think, the more you look at things uh, that are happening and 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 uh, that are going on around you, you may need uh, somebody to lean on, right? Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.